हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल प्रोजेक्ट प्रोफेशनल आई एम तनवीर पीएमपी एंड दिस वीडियो इज ऑन ईपीसी कंस्ट्रक्शन प्री कमिशनिंग एंड कमिशनिंग स्केड्यूल इन ऑयल एंड गैस प्रोजेक्ट्स द रिकैप टू स्टार्ट विथ लेट अस नो व्हाट इज ईपीसी एंड इट इज ई स्टैंड फॉर इंजीनियरिंग विच एक्चुअली मीन्स डिटेल इंजीनियरिंग पी फॉर प्रोक्योरमेंट दैट इज द मटीरियल प्रोक्योरमेंट C stands for construction, which is basically site-based activities. And the sequence in the EPC project, rather the contract starts with engineering, followed by procurement and construction, comes at last. And this construction encompasses pre-commissioning followed by commissioning. However, there are considerable overlaps between engineering, procurement, and construction, and as you can see here. and the construction then the pre commissioning followed by commissioning overall structure the construction pre commissioning and commissioning are last in sequence in a epc schedule though there are overlaps construction is mainly the activities at the site and it is dependent on engineering and procurement both construction from top to bottom can be broken down into discipline area and package and there are variation from project to project it depends how to break up it means from the project to project type of project etc construction requires maximum resources in terms of manpower and construction equipment as construction nears completion the schedule focus shifts from bulk construction to systemized construction which this systemized construction we may have in another schedule not here sorry in another video not in this video example of work breakdown structure in the uh, for construction pre commissioning and commissioning the construction uh, is broken in like civil and structural uh, sometimes civil structural and, and architectural piping mechanical and electrical instrumentation etc which is further uh, like civil is further broken down into excavation concrete work steel work etc there may be more but these are all only example piping may be underground above ground uh, shop fabrication site uh, erection site welding etc mechanical static equipment rotating equipment etc then electrical instrument cable laying instrument gauges and all installation etc pre commissioning it is basically the system wise here for example has given feed system uh, that is the input system and product system that is the output system and this may include instrument piping pumps etc okay so uh so some of the common activities in pre commissioning are like your uh, like uh, the pipe cleaning like uh, air blowing water flushing steam blowing uh, this uh, site acceptance tests etc those are the common activities of the pre commissioning commissioning then is the last one and commissioning we have like inerting circulation feed introduction then uh, pro, uh, product to the storage like this and as we see the pictorial example of epc engineering procurement construction for uh, with pre commissioning and followed by commissioning overlaps engineering as we have seen in the previous videos procurement also in the construction civil structural piping mechanical electrical instrumentation then pre commissioning so one thing is there that that pre commissioning uh, to start pre commissioning we have to do the mechanical completion and uh, mechanical completion may be for the overall maybe the system based it depends the uh, as this is a very much resource dependent construction so example of resources in construction uh, the primarily the manpower and the equipment in the manpower we have direct and in the uh, indirect and direct manpower indirect manpower like managers engineers supervisors foremen etc direct manpower are like welder 
वेल्डर ऑफ मिनी टाइस फेब्रिकेटर मिलाइट फिटर रीगर केबल पुलर टेक्नीशियन मैसन मैनुअल एक्सकेवेटर एक्सट्रेट्रा सो मेनी टाइप ऑफ मैन पावर आर देर एंड डिपेंड ऑन दैट प्रोजेक्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट देन इक्विपमेंट लाइक क्रेन एक्सकेवेटर डंप ट्रक वेल्डिंग मशीन जेनरेटर रोलर कंपैक्टर प्लेट कंपैक्टर हाइड्रोलिक चेक स्प्रे पेंटिंग मशीन ग्राइंडिंग मशीन डिवाटरिंग पंप प्लेट वेंडिंग मशीन एक्सेट्रा सो मेनी इक्विपमेंट आर देर then there are consumables are also in the construction there are many types of consumable used in the construction some comes in uh, consumables incorporate into the work while other are supports some other typical example of consumables are like diesel welding electro grinding wheel uh, argon gas oxygen gas etc schedule organizing organization schedule are generally organized in column and gantt chart schedule can also be organized in part view column in baseline generally comprises activity id activity description early start early finish original duration total float etc column in update in addition generally includes start date completion date percentage progress remaining duration etc Exam, uh, pictorial example of schedule view uh, this is like uh, the, the, we have the uh, construction part the milestones uh, then the construction construction into the various discipline like civil structural works piping works mechanical works electrical instrumentation then we have pre commissioning uh, uh, this are into the system here i for i for just for the sake of example i have provided feed system product system then commissioning commissioning is there and on the right hand side the duration the bars are there depicting the duration of those activities overlaps relation etc baseline update recovery and revise schedule baseline is the schedule prepared reviewed and approved and frozen to act as benchmark update is a copy of the baseline where activity actual start progress and actual completion are updated and run to provide overall progress and forecast completion recovery schedule is the revision of the update where the re remaining activity are so adjusted that slipped completion date is brought back to the original when there is any change in scope or any addition or deletion in duration the schedule is adjusted accordingly and it is called revised schedule loading and assignment on the activities to perform a task in, in a particular time frame and act, and activities require certain resources daily working hours work week day etc hence resources like manpower and equipment are loaded to the activities similarly particular calendar is assigned to activities at it may differ even at design of it and site also weight also the weight cost cost account categories are assigned to the activities s curve and histogram based on the weight and resource loading s curve and histogram are generated construction weight is generally less than procurement but more but more than engineering pre commissioning and commissioning commissioning have generally least weight the s curve and histograms generated from baseline are the benchmark to assess the progress s curve and histogram generated from the update are actual and are compared with those taken as benchmark this is the example pictorial example here like uh, the s curve the blue curve shows the baseline and the orange one shows the actual so the actual is little bit less than the uh, planned and the, from the baseline that means the project is uh, is behind the schedule one thing which i need to specify here or one thing which has to be noted here that though here the actually is less uh, it, it may be that the blue line is uh, depicting the uh, is based on the early dates so there may be a late date which may be below the orange line 
in that case the project is still on the schedule but uh, taking in in general the baseline the orange line is below that this project is behind the schedule uh, similarly here if we see the white is behind and uh, here also the blue uh, this bar shows the planned manpower and uh, yeah, uh, the orange one shows the actual and we see the manpower is less so one of the uh, the probable reason is maybe that because less manpower is available so the progress is low and it is behind the schedule uh, and then at the last we will see how we progress the activity so we have to go a little bit back uh, like uh, as we have seen that construction has more weightage than uh, procurement uh, less the weightage than procurement and more weightage than engineering so say, for example, the construction has 30% weightage. So it is again broken down into the component. This 30% this is with respect to overall project as 100%. So this 30% is further broken. For example, the civil structural and architectural 9%, piping 11% and electrical 10%. For example, this is only for the sake of example. This is further broken uh, into excavation backfilling and rcc work and pipe rack work okay that is steel pipe rack. then piping also we have broken it down fabrication uh, mixture of fabrication fill erection there are many other works but just for example we have taken electrical is cabling and overall this ten the three percent we have taken I means seven percent there are other works then against the weightage assigned, we have the scope like uh, excavation is 10,000 cubic meter, piping is maybe 100,000 inch dia, fabrication, etc. So what we do as we progress, uh, say after some times, we have done the excavation, say 1,000, this is 10% of the scope so what will happen the way in the terms of weight we will have uh, 0 0.05 because 0 0.5 is the 100 percent of 10,000 so if we progress 10 percent 0 0.05 then again say back filling is 300 cubic meters so it will be 0 0.1 because 10 percent of 0 0.1 because 300 is 10 percent of 3000 well, similarly for this uh, pipe rack and uh, RCC work like fabrication, 100,000 in dia corresponds to 6%. So suppose we have done the 20% of that means 20,000 in dia we have done the shock fabrication means it will be uh, uh, 1.2% of weightage we have done. So this way we add it up and we say, okay, how much is the plan in this? Uh, and the, from the S curve, we see how much is the plan. From this, we see how much actual percentage we have done it. Okay. So this is what is the, uh, about the construction schedule. Uh, hope you would like it. Uh, if you like it, please share it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, provide your comment, etc. Till then. Thank you and bye-bye.